Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shannon Plays. Welcome back to the land of Tunis. Where we're at peace. Woohoo! We're just going to stay at peace for a while. There, there are no good targets that I can see. Uh, I do want to eat War Sangali, but he's in the coalition against us. I do want to eat the Ottomans, but he's in the coalition against us. I do want to eat Spain, but um, Spain's allied to Austria. And we have a truce for three more years. I mean, that would be a good war for us, though. So we might go to war with Spain and Austria. Uh, and this, these guys over here, the problem is, well, they're just too big to really, like, go for. It would be bloody trying to fight them. We could probably do it, though. We could probably fight them. <laughs> We're saying, I mean, a, a Juron wants an alliance, but he's too backwards in technology to even bother. So I'm going to tell him to fuck off. Uh, we're improving relations with some nations over here. We're working on Tabaristan, Balochistan, and Malwa. The reason being is they kind of leave gaps for us to push through and annex, assuming we want to go to the east over there. Although it might be a little too late to go for the east. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Did Jolof westernize? They are in the process of westernizing. Uh, they're not done yet. Jolof has been amazingly strong. He's been very stable. I'm hoping during his westernization, I'm hoping he explodes. Because then we could start eating this stuff. The problem is Jolof is a protectorate of Spain. And we can't declare on Jolof because technically that means declaring on Spain. And we have a truce. It's sort of a weird situation. He's getting attacked again. That's all fun. All right. We're going to team up on these guys and take them out. Look at that. We have manpower again, everyone. We're starting to get manpower back. This is great. I love manpower. Right, right, right. If you guys missed the last episode, France was at war with Austria. And he won the war. He took Burgundy and Namur. But then he also forced Brandenburg to break their alliance with us. So we lost our only ally. That makes me sad in my pants. Sweden's invading Denmark. That happens all the time. Sweden wants an alliance. You know, that might be a good ally against Russia. How many troops do you have, Sweden? Be honest. You gotta scroll down the little list here. Oh, God. Sweden? 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 Uh-oh. Did I miss... I must have missed them. Where, where are you, Sweden? I I'm missing you. Where is your troop count? Oh, there it is. I see it. He's got 25 troops against Russia's 105. And yeah, Russia westernized, so... Wow. I don't know. That's a scary thought. Kaffa nationalists. Alright, we'll have to send an army over there. We have lots of rebels coming and going because our legitimacy is crap. And that's not going to go away until... I don't know until this bug stops happening to us. We keep getting this bug where we get two heirs at the same time and winds up with a weak claim all the time. So our legitimacy when they take over is pretty much zero. We got super lucky. This last guy had an average claim. Woo, average, which is, I guess, better than zero, but still not very good. All right, take these fuckers out. Whoa, Sweden just full annexed Denmark. And he only took 16.9 aggressive expansion. What? <laughs> All right, yeah, no, no, no. We're definitely going for Sweden as an ally. That has sealed the deal, so to speak. Holy shit, Sweden. He just full annexed Denmark. That's insane. I love it. How do you get away with that crap? Ooh, rebels in Austria. Nice. Yes, spit out Croatia. Give me someone else to attack who has no allies. Oh, Sweden has already improved relations with us. Plus 93. Wow, I love it. Holy crap, Sweden. Let's do this shit. You and me, bro. Alright, let's start rolling... <clears throat> Let's start rolling troops back over here to Kaffa, because we're going to have rebels there.
Yeah, okay. Oh, Russia has Manchurian Patriots. Okay. And yeah, he has reached the coast here, but Portugal did sneak in a couple colonies in Siberia, because why not? Found some wool, okay. Hey, we finished our mission to claim Salamanca, nice. France has defended the Catholic faith again. That sucks. Protect our brethren in Qatar. Um, it would give me a CV on Karakoinlu. Do I want a CV on Karakoinlu? You know, if we could go take Oman as a vassal, that'd be great. Who's your allies? Balochistan and Tabaristan. Eh, I don't really think I want to get into a war like that right now. Maybe a little later. We are five techs ahead of him, though. And, uh, oh, he is, he's Western. <laughs> We're five techs ahead of him, though, so there is that. But no, I think I'd like to let my manpower recover. It's been a while since we've had manpower. Oh, jeez, Serbia keeps getting rebels. Hopefully he wins. I guess I could send an army to help out. Oh, man, I gotta stop wearing this headset. It's giving me such a massive headache. Oh, what's this? Hungarian nationalist? Croatian nationalist? Oh, yeah, look at this. Austria might fall apart. Oh, yes. Austria, explode. Do it. Do it now. That'd be so good. Except, are you Catholic? Ah, oh, fuck. He's Catholic. Meaning, no matter what happens, no matter what spits out, we can't declare war because France is fucking defender of the Catholic faith. Fuck you, France. Such a jerk. Hmm... Oh, France is at war with the Hansa. Sweden's at war with France. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Go Sweden, I guess. Russia actually got rid of their internal conflicts, and I only saw two rebels the entire time. That's ridiculous. The AI with Lucky Nations turned on. The AI is ridiculous. They, they just, it's so hard for them to actually fall to rebels. Scotland is a constitutional monarchy, okay. Uh, let's improve the defenses of Porto. Get some army tradition. It's a good mission. Hopefully these Croatians succeed, but it's not going to matter because they're... No, they're, they're losing. It's not going to matter because they're Catholic. Give subsidies to Sweden? No, I don't have the money. We don't have that kind of income. I wish we did. Making 116 ducats here on the snowed. That is so nice. We are starving Spain and Portugal. It's beautiful. Uh oh. Recent uprising is over, so we're going to get rebels again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rebels will return. Alright, free diplomats. Uh, let's work on... 
Hmm. Yeah, go top off Brandenburg again. Still have to wait six years before we can get that alliance, but I think it'll be a good one. England is the defender of the Protestant faith. Okay, that's fine. See, I don't mind fighting England because we've already defeated them before. France, we've never defeated them. Ah, oh, Spain, why do you have to be fucking Catholic, dude? Now, if I were to declare on Jolof, would that bring in France as the defender of the Catholic faith, even though Jolof is Sunni? No, it wouldn't. Okay. It says I have a truce with Jolof. Oh, right, because I have a truce with France. So this is one way to, to avoid defender of the faith, is I could declare on Jolof instead of declaring on Spain. And then Spain would be brought in as a co-belligerent. Austria wouldn't even join. And we could take some lands from Spain. That's a possibility. How many troops do you have, Jolof? 48,000. Yeah, I could beat that. I think I should turn it into level 4 forts, though. Just so we can move bigger armies back and forth. Decadence. Lose stability. Thanks, game. You're the best. Level 4s. It's okay. I didn't need stability anyway. It's not like I have massive revolt risk everywhere. Who are Lithuania's allies? He's allied to Sweden and Austria. Two of the bigger nations in the area. We could ally Lithuania, but... Eh. Probably a silly idea. Okay, we've maxed relations with Sweden, and he doesn't want an alliance. Even though he's friendly. Oh no, he does. Never mind, he does. You know what, we'll see how he does in the war against France. If he does well in the war against France, then I'll ally him. If he doesn't, then screw it. Netherlands wants an alliance. I kind of want that alliance, too. Kind of. Yeah, if we could vassalize Syria peacefully, that'd be great. It's just going to be a long, long time away because we have this huge penalty for aggressive expansion now because we just declared war on him. But you know what? It's probably worth pursuing anyway because if we can peacefully vassalize him, then we can feed him like half of Kara Koinlu, right? Because his, yeah, his culture group includes Iraqi. We could feed him half of that shit. That'd be good. I mean, that's a lot of base tax that I don't have to core myself. Get him, Genoa. Nice. Oh, wow, they both rolled nines. Come on, Genoa. Oh, God, Genoa might lose. Close. Oh, wow. Wow, that's close. And Genoa won. Wow, just barely. Holy crap, that was close. Manchu just lost a war. And Rebels and Kaffa. Holy shit, they have a 3 3. Fair enough. I'll take you out first. Finished our fort in Porto. Next mission is fortify Kamana. Improve relations with Kano. Uh, I think
think we'll go for Fortify Kamana. Alright, where the hell is Kamana? C A uh, C A M A Kamana. Oh, way over there. Fine. Japan just full annexed Korea. Wow. Oh, there wasn't much left to Korea, was there? Still. Still, that's a thing. That is a thing that just happened. Alright, go top off this guy. I'll probably go top off England as well, try to get him out of the coalition. Just, you know, less people in the coalition, the better. Alright, come on, Serbia. Let's do this. Alright, go top off. Actually, no, work on Syria. Take him as a vassal. Serbia? There we go. Get out of here, Rebels. No one likes you. Oh, my stupid Conquistor died. Damn it. Jolof has finished their westernization. Wow, and they didn't even have a single revolt. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they didn't even have a single revolt. Wow. Which means they're no longer a protectorate of Spain. <laughs> and they're certainly too big to vassalize. Wow, congratulations, Jolof. No longer allied to Spain. Cores are almost in. That'll reduce some of our revolt risk. Wow, losing 25 ducats a month, eh? How the hell are we losing 25 ducats a month? from reinforcements. Oh, we're losing a ton of trade, too. What happened to our trade? 98 ducats, that's it? Something's wrong with our trade. I'm not sure what it is, but something's wrong with our trade. We're not pushing as much anymore. We need to push more trade. Um, but in the meantime, since we're not fighting any battles, let's lower army funding. I'd rather not take another loan. I wonder if Austria is actually going to collapse. He has a few rebels, but there's not a ton. Nah, he's unseaging their lands already. He's got this. I think. Oh, High Note's gonna spawn, though. He can't do anything about that. Alright, free diplomat. Go to England. Remove Jolof. Eh. There's plenty of time for that. Then we're a little busy. You know, trying not to die. To rebels. It's an important thing, not dying. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more trade going. Very nice. Nice. 
Oh, look at Armenia go. Nice. Only three provinces, though. Darn, Armenia. You could have taken more than three provinces. The Ottomans have no allies. If we can get the Ottomans out of this coalition, we could just eat them in like two or three wars. That'd be so nice. Beautiful statue. I don't need the prestige. I'll take the 500 ducats if you don't mind. Repay a loan. Nice. No, I can't convert stuff right now. If it was possible, you would see the little icon up here with the cross. But since there's a little, not like, a little flag, little banner. Since there's no little banner with the cross, it means it's not possible. There's just nothing available. Uh, part of that's because we have low piety. Um, and there's nobody available to really help. I could take the national unrest guy, but I think we're okay on unrest, really. Yeah, we're fine. Wow, is that max relations? Wow, at plus 100 relations, it's still... Wow, that's terrible. Our cores are in, though, which is really nice. Yep, hello, Smurg. Welcome, welcome. Alright, I think I'm just going to go ahead and annex uh, Genoa. Maybe the Pope as well. I don't know, the Pope still has a core in Romania. The Pope can still eat stuff. Colony damaged. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. It'll grow back. Greek Patriots. Where the hell do we have any Greek Patriots? Oh, it, they're all on roads. I see. Hmm. All right, let's put our army there. We'll stomp the Patriots. Or, we're well not stomp them, but we'll stop them from spawning by standing there. Egyptians, okay. Should be able to lower the Egyptian risk just by standing there. Where do we even have revolt risk here? Mm, Gaza? No, that's Syrian. Egyptian. Where's the revolt risk? Negative two, negative two. No, the Egyptians should not spawn because there's no revolt risk anywhere. It doesn't make any sense. The entire Egyptian culture has no revolt risk. None. Zero. It's actually negative. I don't know why they're getting... I have no idea. That makes no sense. Oh, it's actually going. It's going. It's going down. It's at sixty. It's dropping. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It, the revolt, revolt risk is dropping right now. We're all good, man. I was panicking for no reason. Oh, Earth Rampart and Kamana. Great. Let's let's talk about Rampart. Hey, finished our mission. Next up. Protect Qatar. Royal marriage with Kano. Improve our defenses in Cordoba. Uh, I do like the tradition. I'm just going to keep doing tradition missions. Because when we need generals, we're going to want good tradition. So he hates... Oh, he has no possible rivals. Really? Why can't you rival Kano? You guys are both western. Interesting. Uh, 
And I can probably vassalize Song Hai if we uh, were a little closer together. Yeah, if we didn't have the distance between borders, we could probably do it. Interesting. All right, let's get our let's get our trust up with the Syria. Let's get our alliance back. Bulgaria. Yeah, don't worry about Bulgaria. Get our alliance back with Syria. Okay. And we could take another idea group. What the hell would I even take? Well, we have a level six military leader. So I guess we'll take something military. What the hell's what I want? Hmm. Probably offensive. Offensive is really nice. The ability to siege faster is so good. And forced march, of course. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, so we're, we're on the mend with Syria. It's going to be a while before they'll vassalize, but they'll get there. Spain is embargoing us now. Not that it matters that much, but they're at least doing something. Oh, my colony just annexed Muisca. Muisca was a three-province native state right here. Well, no more three provinces for the natives. Good job, colony. Hey, hot chocolate. The price of cocoa goes up by 40% until the end of the game. Beautiful. Do we have any chocolate? We probably do. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah. We have one, two, three, four, five, six provinces with chocolate. Delicious. Austria wants an alliance. Aw, that's adorable. Oh, Austria. <laughs> hey, we're up to fourth in score, everyone. Who's ahead of us? Let's take a look. Uh, score. England, France, and Austria. So we've passed up Russia. Wow. We're actually getting more points per month than Russia is. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. I still think Russia is far more of a threat to us than England ever was. But, you know, whatever. To each their own. And how's the war going, Hansa? Hansa is losing his war. Well, that's just too bad. Why are you losing your war? It's because you haven't sieged the target province. Yeah. He's winning battles, but he hasn't seized the target province. Well, that's just too bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get relations up with Austria. Not because I want our alliance back. Because I really don't right now. Um, how are you on troops, Austria? He's pretty shit. I don't want our alliance back just yet. Maybe at some point. But we'll get relations up anyway. Because that can't hurt. No, I'm not going to fight the coalition right now. Because France is in the coalition. And we've already had one war with France that ended horribly, so I'm not willing to I'm not willing to declare on France. No way. That would be silly. Or Sangali has westernized. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to westernize if you have rebels everywhere. This should halt your process. Your westernization should stop until these rebels are killed. That's my opinion. And I don't I don't know why Paradox just lets nations westernize when they have rebels all over the place. I think it's silly. Dutch La Plata just declared war on something. Oh, on Argentina. Okay. Well, good luck, Scotland. Oh, is this a different colonial region? Where's the colonial regions? There they are. No, this is all La Plata. Well, then why is this not part of Argentina? 
Yeah, Scotland has finished tons of colonies over there. Why are they not part of Argentina? Oh man, that's a horrible bug. Look at this bug! Scotland has colonized all of this shit, which is all part of the same colonial region of Argentina. But it's not actually going to Argentina. What in the world? That's a horrible bug. Go, sons of Colombia! Kill. Eat more land. Silly animus. Petition for address. Lose prestige or kill some rebels. Uh, I, I like my prestige. I'll probably just kill the rebels. Where's this going to be? Sanai? Okay. Scotland moved its capital to South America. Holy shit, you're right. Scotland moved its capital to South America. What? Where's your capital? Your capital is in Cayenne. Oh my god. Scotland has moved to South America. Wow. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Venice is killing Austria's rebels. Interesting. I didn't expect to see that. We lost to the rebels? Really? I know I'm not funding my troops fully, but how did we lose to the rebels? There's only one left. What the fuck? <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> they don't even have a general. Well, whatever. And they insta-squished. Alright, we've got two diplomats back. Ooh, piety. I like piety. Uh, we have two diplomats again. Let's uh, continue working on Syria. And Brandenburg, we still have two years or four years before we can ally you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Go top off France pants. And go top off Spain. Yeah, sure. Nah, maybe not. Go top off Austria. No, we can't. Top off... England? No. Russia? Yeah, Russia. If we can get these people to unrival us, that'd be amazing. I don't think they will, but, you know, just in case. Just in case. I like how Jolof and Kano are optimistic that they can get alliances with me. Now yeah, we can start converting people again. 555 months. No, I'm not willing to wait 555 months. It's just not going to happen. Ottomans, how about you leave that coalition, bro? He's not going to leave it. Bastards. 121 ducats a month on trade. 56% of our income is trade. 27% mercantilism. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. How long until we can make our stupid heir into a general and kill him? Because he needs to die so bad. War St. Gully is going to explode. You should not be able to uh, westernize when you have rebels everywhere, but... Oh well. Jolof started the Jolofian conquest of Lobi against Songhai. 
So Jolof is now fighting pretty much all of West Africa. I wonder who's going to win. Probably Jolof. Protect. Colonize Tauranga. I like that. Alright, where the fuck is Tauranga? Over here somewhere? Tauranga? No? Alright, I'll look it up. I don't know. T-A-U-R. Oh, down there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. So steal the colonist out of here, because it's almost done. And we'll head to Tauranga. That'll give us five years of faster colonization. Stop the Greek rebels and roads. Um, yeah, I guess. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot about that, but I did. So that'll put the unrest down. And a free diplomat. Um... I guess go back to Aragon. We need to annex Aragon soon. As soon as we give them the last three provinces here, we'll just get rid of them. Yeah, we can't build the Suez Canal until we hit Tech 26. We're currently at Tech 23. And we need 20,000 ducats or something like that. It's very expensive. You know what we can do is we can upgrade our trade fleet. We should probably do that. Let's see how much that would cost. Uh, 2,294 ducats. Alright, we'll have to save up. That's very expensive. Wow. Whoa, what's this? Holy shit, what the fuck? The Brandenburg Hanseatic Imperialist War. Oh my god. So Brandenburg is attacking Sweden, the Hansa, and England. Oh wow. Support Baroque music. Gain some prestige. Lose admin points. I don't think so. We don't need the prestige. If that if that led to other events down the road, I would love to do it. But it doesn't. Scotland decline or oh, Dutch La Plata declined Scotland's enforced peace demand. So Scotland's now going to join the war against Dutch La Plata, and the Netherlands is now in the war. Go get them, Scotland, I guess. Come on, War Sangali, just. Break apart already. English West Indies has declined. Oh god. So England and Portugal are now at war. And we're almost done with our two colonies. Very nice. France has joined the war against England. Oh, goody. I guess now would be a good time to go to war with England. Alright, let's get this one started. Oh, right, we have to core it. Uh, put some forts over here. Any place that needs a level 2 fort, build a level 2 fort. 
like over here. Oh, we also need to rebuild our march, apparently. Fair enough, fair enough. But you know what? That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where maybe we'll consider going to war down here in Africa where there's no one who's going to fuck with us. Because um, right now we still can't go to war with the Ottomans and we really can't go to war with uh, Europe right now. There's just too much shit going on. Anyway, come join us next time. I'll see you then. Have a good day.